Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy proxy client to WebLogic and run it as a web application. Normally, the proxy client that we call web service is runnable inside JDeveloper as a standalone and uh, we'll convert that into a web application to be able to run it inside WebLogic. So the first thing we should do is we will create an application. So I'm using JDeveloper 12.1.2 WebLogic also 12.1.2. So go to File, New, Application, Custom Application. I'm going to call this application My Test App. Next, since this is a web service application, I'm going to select SOAP Web Services. Next, project name is My Test Project. So we have an empty project. Now let's add a Java class. We we'll call it my test. My test class. Okay. Um, I'm going to add a method that I will publish as a web service. The method is going to uh, print uh, a message public string say hello uh, it will return a message hello world okay let's compile that zero now we will publish it right click on the project and then let's do actually it's right click on the class itself to make a web service create web service and then accept the default soap11 binding our method that going to be published is say hello next and since this is there, there is no security in this demo, I'm not going to choose any policies. So no policies. Finish. Uh, next thing we do is let's uh, deploy this application to WebLogic. This is a web service application. So deploy web services. Deploy to application server. And we can create actually a connection to WebLogic. Um, before we can create a connection to WebLogic, we need to have WebLogic running. So I'm going to run this script that will call start WebLogic located in WebLogic 12.1.2 home user project domains and then the domain name. Okay. So this, this is how we create the connection. We call it uh, 12C, connection type WebLogic 12, next, WebLogic, and then the password. Next, the host name where WebLogic resides, port, and, in, and then the domain name. Next, right now if I do test connection, it will not succeed because it's not running yet so we need to wait until it's running
Okay, it's starting. All right, now it's in a running mode. And now we'll be able to, to connect. Okay, next. Okay, we have our connection. Let's deploy to the running server. Uh, after that started, we can check whether that's running or not. Let's go to localhost and then 701, that's uh, port, then console. Our JDWorp shows that admin server is running, so let's deploy to that server. Deploy and finish. And we can check that. Okay, go to deployment. So my test app, that's the one we just created. We need to go ahead and find the whistle that we need it because we're going to create a proxy and we need the, the whistle. So here's the whistle URL. I need this. So I will copy it from here and go to web uh, to JDeveloper. Right now I'm going to create a new project. It's going to be a custom project and this is where I will create my proxy client. Next. Finish. Okay. So I'm going to select right click on the project that we created new web service client and proxy. Next. We need the with the URL that we copied. Here it is. We're going to copy the whistle into the project. Next, uh, accept the default. No policies, since we didn't have any policies in web service, also the client will not have any policies. Our method, say hello, and finish. Okay, so we got our client. Now we need to, we can do a quick test here inside JDeveloper before we can do it inside WebLogic. And we add the code that we'll call the method to print the message. So what we'll do, uh, let's print to the system. My test class dot Say hello. Let's run this. And here it is, hello world. So that's working. Now, how to convert this into web application runnable inside WebLogic? So for this, we need to add a servlet, new from gallery and go to web tier servlet. I'm going to add HTTP servlet. I'm going to, to call it my test servlet. It has a do get method. Uh, this is the URL pattern we're going to use my test servlet. Finish. Now the trick here is just to create to copy. Let's copy the lines from the proxy that we had port from the the class port client that we had. Let's copy these lines and paste it in the servlet itself after the body. So in this location here. 
uh, f since this is a web application, I'm go going to use the out print line. Before doing that, let's create a string. We call it output. And we assign it the call to the to the method. And then output in line that string. Okay. Now we have our servlet. Next thing we do, we need to deploy this as a web application. So for that we do project new or before that deploy new deploying profile I'm going to choose web or file if we check the classes we should see our test servlet selected okay next thing we do right click again on project and do deploy Let's select a new name actually. Um, it's going to be Web Actual is fine. The context, we can change the context if we want, um, or we can leave it as default. And now deploy Web App 2 to application server. connection to WebLogic 12, deploy to the running server. Deployment finished. Okay, we can check that. Go to our WebLogic deployment, Web App 2, here it is. So to access it, we can just go to testing. Let's copy this URL paste it in the browser and then add the URL pattern which is my test servlet and here it is hello world the servlet has received the get this is a reply thank you for watching video